what is worth 50 bucks is this bad boy. I think it's worth more than 50 bucks. I would pay a lot of money for this. I think that's one of the most amazing white wines I've tried. <laughs> Are we wine for Noah? All right, welcome back. Another edition of Blind Wine Tasting. We have six wines in front of us. I don't know what they are, who made them, anything. All I know is what color they are, and I'm about to tell you how much I would spend and how many I would buy. All supplied by our good friends, sometimes always. If you want a discount code on any of the wines we tried today, check the description, head to our Discord, and you'll be sorted out. Now, what kind of styles of wine do you like to drink at home? I'm a big textural white fan. If I'm not on that, maybe a little bit of sparkling, maybe like a light, bunchy red. But there's such a wide gamut. It could be fortified, it could be sweet wines, could be like anything. Like there's so many different styles. What do you guys like drinking at home? Uh, so let's uh, get into it. Bubbles to start out with, isn't there? And they're actually sparkling this time. Ah, oh, I see what you mean by look. Lockie just re-poured this. He's like, well, that works a bit too well. God damn, he's a better videographer than he is a sommelier. All right. And that's remarkable. Wow. What a stunning uh, sparkling wine. Fine bead, luscious palette weight. I think it's potentially Chardonnay. It doesn't have the complexity of champagne. It doesn't have like the sheer fleet fun and caution to the wind like Moscato Dusty has. I have six bottles of it. It smells like wet dog and tastes like cardboard, but like, uh, it's it's nice. I like it. For, for 35 bucks a bottle. This, this is sublime. I would throw $38 a bottle, magic number, uh, and I would buy 12. One on number two, Harvel inspired red potentially is Harvel itself. Pinot, Pinot blend? I don't know. I don't care. Both of these wines, doesn't matter what they are. I just want them cold. It's got a nice little bit of tannin to it. I feel like I've had wines like this before. Um, I'm leaning down the sort of, based on the color of it and the little bit of tannin there, I'm leaning towards like a Gamay or something along those lines. You open up to an Encyclopedia Britannica. Oh, you don't really have those these days, do, do we? Lockie's a Gen Z. He doesn't understand what Encyclopedia Britannica is above his head, bro. Another styrofoam cup. This is just like a summertime, springtime smasher. 12 bottles, $40. Alpha Box and Dice Gamay. $32 a bottle. And speaking from experience, I want a dozen because I drank a shitload of this at Fringe last year. All right, first pristine still white wine of the lineup. And look at that. The light's just flicking off it like platinum. Yeah, it's got some mineral thing. It's like really zesty, like lime zest. Nice floral thing. It gives like Riesling vibes, real Riesling energy. It's got this nice lemony thing. And then a little bit of seriousness on the back end that isn't just, it's like a staleness to it, which is kind of nice because if it was just lemon, it would be sort of this high prickly acidity thing. Great example of baseline textural white that you would have on a Wednesday. Nothing too dramatic, nothing too crazy, nothing too out there. It's not sitting asymmetrical. In fact, it's a very symmetrical laminar wine. Lovely kind of white nectarine fleshiness. Mineral things great. Trist things going fantastically. I reckon it is. I reckon that is a dozen. I want to drink that with crabs. But a great wine. Technically brilliant, but and perfect for just like, you know, give me a white wine, please. Yeah, cool. And this comes and that's what you would expect. Wine number four. This looks like an American school bus that has done 150,000 kilometers. A little bit cleaner, a little bit more yellow. Shit, man. That's freaking amazing. 60 bucks. I want 12. I'm still salivating. That is electric. When you smell it, you get this like really great whip of herbs and thyme and like green leaves and stuff like that. This nice kind of stone fruit thing. But when you taste it, it's just piercing acid. I'm going to go Riesling again. It smells lovely. It's squeaky clean. Lemongrass, acid and grapes. I mean, this is one of the most masochistic white wines I think we've had on the show. That is, uh, that's fantastic. You know, we talk about in red wine, we talk about iron fist in a velvet glove. This is kind of like the white wine version of that. Banging wine, banging, banging, banging wine. This is what uh, good reasoning uh, should look like. Really cool. I'm gonna be drooling for days because of that wine. Number five. Medium ruby with kind of bricky clay things. Yeah, it smells a bit dusty, a little bit farty, a little bit corky. Like it doesn't, I, I don't, this isn't corked, but like if you turned that smell up to 11, you'd be like, this is a corked wine sort of thing. We got the funk. Yeah, we got funk. We got the funk. There's genuinely nothing appealing about that wine. <laughs> um, yeah, that's bad. Like, if you were in a wine show, you'd literally just be like, just take me out of the lineup, like, get rid of it. It's just poor. It is a poor wine. 
Um, I just I, I, I don't think that's acceptable to put on the market. Uh, I don't know if it's bottle variation, but that is just not acceptable to put on the market. It is just a shit wine. Oh man, I don't think I've done this before. Usually we do like a bit of a piss take. I'd pay 10 bucks for one glass. I'd send this back, sorry. Then finally, it's orange. It's like fruit concentrate, it looks like syrup. It smells like an unfiltered rosé of sorts. In fact, it smells like an Italian variety, Sanye uh, style that has uh, been uh, sort of unfired, unfiltered. Love it, love it. This is pretty much what it's like to sit on like a balcony alongside the beach with your feet up with a glass of wine. This is like the entire experience all in one, just to just kind of relax and just watch the sun go down and really enjoy it. <coughs> That tastes like uh, watered down tomato soup. Nope, um, watered down gazpacho. Gazpacho. I always fucking do this with the World War II references. Understandable if there's been a bit of mellow because the acidity is so fucking intense uh, that you kind of need it to be able to balance it out. 12, big fan of that for, for this summer. See what the guys think. Gentlemen, uh, what do we think of this lineup? Uh, fun, variable, wildly different styles across the whole range. For the most part, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. First time I think I've ever called a specific wine on this channel. That's Jeez. bullshit. As in like a wine wine, as in you know what it is. I reckon you've done that before. And uh, you called like a really shitty, cheap one. I've done it again. <laughs> there, you go. there are some amazing cracking wines and some dismal wines. Oh, there's there's a dismal wine in here yep. that is just oh it's so bad. Um, we'll get to that. The first wine was not a dismal, not uh, dismal at all. Wine. I would drink bucket loads, buckets of this. Loved it. I, I was all about it. Twelve bucks, uh, twelve bottles, sorry, and thirty-eight dollars. Uh, twelve for forty. Uh, six for thirty-five. I thought it was sparkling chardonnay as well, but that's the only thing I know that they sparkle. So. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Okay, that's what the pricey. fuck? Is it that that's pricey. From Monte Begonia. Wow, it smells. It's fruit yeah. zero. Holy shit, that's fucking sick. It's bone dry. So it is Cremonte Begonia. It is absolutely 100%. It's Pinot Noir. <laughs> oh my god! It's Pinot Noir. I'll tell you what's yeah. not. Uh, and funnily enough, it does smell and taste like sparkling champagne. <laughs> it's fucking delicious. Though. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, like, for amazing. sub 60 bucks for uh, French sparkling. Ugh. Boofed. Yeah. yeah. Boofed. I'd, I'd be drinking shitloads of that. Uh, yeah, amazing. Cool uh, wine. Uh, I'm so into that. I'm super into that. Number two, another thing I'd drink bucket loads of. Yeah. Loved it. So yeah. much what, fun. This sort of Playful towel style ridiculous. thing. Yeah. yeah. Super good fun. This is uh, Alpha Box and Dice's Gamay. Have oh, you, you had reckon? this recently? Oh, really? I drank a lot of this in February this year. I reckon? Uh, I reckon this... Oh, last year, pardon me. Uh, I think that this is Alpha Box and Dice's Gamay. Shall? I would never pick that... From 100 miles away with Gamma, or even like right close up to it. I mean, we're talking about it as if it is, but. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. 12 for 40. 12 for 38. I know it's $32, so. <laughs> and would you buy. 12. Yeah, 12? I love it. Drank $32. Sweet. Sweet. Whoa, it's maybe gone the up. price has gone, gone up. up. Maybe it's the price has gone, gone up. It's Alpha Box and Dice, but it's Trusso. Oh, 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 oh my god. Nice. What a great uh, example of Trusso. The best That's example of Trusso I've seen in yeah. Australia. Trusso is a tough grape to make good quality wine from. I'm too happy with it. That's a good with result, me. man. That is I'll a good result. White wine. Mm. Textural. Mm. Some acid. Mm. It's, it's good. It's good. Yeah. Yep. I drink this happily any day of the week. Yeah. Um, there's nothing offensive about it at all. That's why I got 12. Uh, I think it's just fine. It's a fine wine. Uh, Not three. fine wine, but it's a, it's a fine wine. Three for 28 bucks. I don't need more. Six uh, for 30. 38. Okay, what the fuck? Is it Riesling? Nah. That's Potentially. Kind of, that's I, I wrote down as Riesling. It's Riesling. Solomon. Wundoff. Uh, Vita. It's Grunewaldina. Oh, fuck me, god damn it. Yeah, funnily enough, when you think that a white grape variety is kind of like just kind of meh, sometimes, a lot of the times, it's Grunewald Lena. Tell us how you really <laughs> feel about no, Austrian no, no, grape wine. No, 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 there's, there's also uh, Austrian wines that are just stunning and amazing that also happen to be Grunewald Lena. Oh, look, I still liked it. I just think I wouldn't pay 50 bucks for it. It's quite it's quite nice, but it's a bit of texture, a bit of like that peppery things there, the herbal things there, but yeah, yeah it's not 50 bucks. It's not worth 50 bucks. It's not 50 bucks. <laughs> It's worth 28, 30 yeah, bucks. Yeah, big bang. time. What is worth 50 bucks is this bad boy. I think it's worth more than 50 bucks. I would pay a lot of money for this. I think that's one of the most amazing white wines I've tried. Today. Yeah. It's quite a vexing little wine, right? I thought it was awesome. I wanted 12. I uh, got it, yeah, 12 and 60 bucks. Uh, six for 45. Uh, reason. Well, I thought 50, so we're yeah. in that slot there. There we go. There's a winner. That's a winner. Adelina, Adelina, Adelina Watervale. You're kidding. 
far out. Yeah, it's fuck. That's amazing. What is the bed that Henry mentioned something about getting that tattooed on someone's arm? <laughs> that's a full back tat. Right yeah, that's a full <laughs> back tat. Yeah, um, um, always have been making dude. some of the greatest Riesling in Australia. And for $28, that's just obscene. Speaking of something that really is stupid in the literal sense, this wine was bad. Was this corked? No, this Brett. is Brett. Uh, this is like. This is pretty bad, Brett. This is really bad. This is bad like Brett. band aid. It smells like a band aid. Yeah, it, yeah. it smelled, yeah, faulty. If, you, if you're trying to build a brand and that's the first one you release, you would not have a brand the next year. I think it's just, it is a poor product. It's I, a shame. I, yeah, it's I, I a hope shame. it's like my absolute last hope is that it's bottle variation. That's my only hope, but with something like this, it's very rare that it is. Just, it I, is infected. Three for twenty. I didn't think it tasted that bad. It smelled weird. Um, uh, thought it was like a cab. You, you want to go for three bottles of it? Like, yeah. I don't know, man. Like, I, again, like, I, it's what the, is this the thing that I've spoken to you about, and I've spoken to people who are in cocktail bars and about it a bit. When you know so much that it ruins things for you. Like, mm. if I'm just comparing that to other wines that I've had, like, it's not the worst wines I've tasted. Mm. But like, okay. for me, I've got no idea that that's Brett and that's a bad thing. It shouldn't have been released to the public. I'm like, that eh, kind of smells funky. It kind of doesn't that taste that bad. Lucky, what is it? Oops. Well, it's Italian. Uh, Saramat. Saramat. Yeah, I was thinking Saramon. Barbera. Barbera! Yeah, okay, there you go. Uh, yeah, don't um, buy it. Low price brought in. I'm so sorry, guys. We love you, but... Um, hey, you guys bring in decent wine. Uh, this is not decent wine. Yeah, we um, we just judge the wines based on how they taste on the day. Um, Amelia Romagna, it seems, is where it comes from. So it's actually quite a... It's like a Barbera fish out of water, sort of dealio. Um, Demeter certified, which is kind of cool. Um, you know, certified We've had, I, I've had decent ones from this producer in the past. This just is not one. Mm. Um, but yeah, shit, shit happens. Oh, well. Uh, could have happened in transit, if I can notice. We've, we've dealt with this before, but like, ugh. Yeah, nah, I'm is. not buying it. But uh, what I am buying. I'll buy some of this. Fuck yeah. I'll buy it. I'll buy some of this. This is the rose I want to drink. Nope. No, no. Uh, it tastes like watered down tomato soup. It is watered down. I will give you that. Like yeah. it's, it definitely has like there's not a lot of intensity going on it. But for me, from like just pure drinking purposes, that's a um you know like those amber Duralex like tumblers that you can get at some bistros. I just want to drink that out of that. I just have this same sort of like it's like drinking the seventies. It does taste like tomato soup. Mm. You yeah. fucking ruined that for yeah, me. Yeah, right, sorry, mate. <laughs> Six, and I want to pay forty-seven dollars for it. I wanted uh, twelve and pay twenty-eight. With uh, one for forty. Oh, oh Tony! Yeah. 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 Awesome. Yeah. Little Brunswick wine. Rosato. Shiraz. Fuck off. Shiraz. Awesome. Very cool. How is that one hundred percent Shiraz? Oh, man, cool, cool label. Yeah, what a cool, what a cool wine, huh? These guys are cool, cool shit. Fun. I really yeah. love these guys. Really They're speaking. so much fun. They get well received on this show, Tony Town. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think we, uh, besides yourself here in this exact scenario, uh, uh, and tomato soup. But yeah, no, I, I drink the shit out of that. That's really cool. Posada Rosado. Uh, what do we, what do we reckon? What do we reckon? Number four. No, we had, we had a clean sweep on the Alpha Box and Dice uh, Trousseau. That's, that's, yeah, that's pretty amazing. I'm happy with that. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, let's go Alpha Box and Dice Trousseau. It's fucking cool. Best Trousseau in Australia, no Easily. doubt about it. The best one I've tried. Um, yep. But also one of the best reasons we tried in a hot minute. Um, so there's plenty to grab here. Plenty, plenty to, grab here. to stock up on. Bye. Bye.